Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you maybe the best deck when links come out. I don't know, you tell me. I'm just going to show it to you. You got no no! It's King Brew Pair! So obviously this is going to be a Herald of Perfection deck, which a lot of you guys are going to instantly dislike. I hate Herald! But yeah, I think you guys hate Link summoning more, and you know what? I think that, um, you know, Olynthio uh, would be really proud of me because, you know, I have this side by Pegasus, you know, because uh, Pegasus, a uh, Herald of Perfection, that's Olynthio's thing. Olynthio, of course, otherwise known as Austin Powers. <laughs> Our Yu-Gi-Oh friend from the UK. I think you'd be so proud of me for playing this. But um, I'm going to show you guys um, the entire deck profile. Uh, I'm not going to do a side deck because we don't know what's going to be meta when links come out, really. I mean, we kind of have an idea, but we don't really know for sure. So I'm just going to leave the side deck out, and I'm going to show you the main deck and the extra deck. And I'm going to be showing you some test hands, and I'm going to show you how to combo with those hands to properly show you how to play the deck. And I'm going to do that immediately after the deck profile. So let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. All right, so you start off with the three Herald of Perfection, of course, like the heart and soul of the deck, and then you play uh, two Cyber Angel Bin 10, okay? Bin 10 is probably the best card in the deck. I mean, it's not, it is and it isn't. So it really doesn't do anything for you in hand except, you know, provide uh, the, uh, you know, tribute for Herald, and it also gives you a search, okay? It gives you a search for any light fairy from your deck, which goes to complete your hands. Like, let's just say you have a stick in hand and you need a chair. You can search the chair by, you know, summoning Herald, which is really, really good, and it also searches out wings to complete your uh, toy vendor play you know with wings and that's really really powerful um, so yeah I, I feel like three and testing three was too much uh, and two is about perfect uh, and one's too little so um, yeah two's perfect um, playing three it really doesn't do anything for you like I said it's not like I don't play like the the ritual spell to summon this so it really doesn't do anything for you except for you know give you searches um, and uh, it's discard fodder for Harold of course because it is a fairy but that's really all it does for you and then I play uh, two Gale Dog uh, this is my favorite card in the deck. It really is because and I think it's hilarious that you can win with 2,000 life points. I think it's hilarious. But um, it's also a level 2. So if you wanted to, you can use like a level 2 and any of your 4s here to go into Herald, which is uh, pretty good. You can get this off the field uh, really easily. Uh, typically, um, if, you, if you play right and if you're worried about your life points, you can get this off the field. Plus, this is a plus 2, you guys. It is a plus 2. This gets you um, extra, you know, fairies uh, to your hand for negates. Like, let's just say you want 2 more negates to end with 5 negates in hand, for example. Um, you can search out two more heralds or a bin 10 and a herald from your deck uh, using this guy so it's really 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 good and then uh, yeah so uh, plus you know with links coming out you know, <laughs> you know how it works where they have to attack the link monster first so yeah that's really good and then uh, we have the uh, star seraph stick and then the chair um, this is pretty self-explanatory you normal summon if you got well it's, it's self-explanatory if you know how stick and chair works if you don't uh, you normal summon the uh, stick uh, chain the chair from your hand you summon the chair draw a card search another chair off of stick and then you summon that chair and then draw another card or you can keep that uh, that stick uh, that chair I mean in your hand um, yeah you can keep that chair in hand for extra negates for Herald it just depends on your situation but yeah these are uh, light fairies so they're uh, fodder for you know Herald and uh, they can be searched with bin tins so that's really good and then you play your fluffle engine this is the perfect ratio for fluffles the two bear one wing Sam and I tested speaking of which shout out to Sam because if it wasn't for Sam I would not be playing this deck um, and uh, like in my testing I my, my contribution to the deck was the Gale Dagra and uh, his contribution was basically everything else like he, you know he knows Fluffles better than anybody he came up with this Fluffle ratio of course because Sam and Fluffles are just they're tied at the hip and then uh, you play the Garnet for the Brilliant Fusion target Brilliant Fusion uh, helps you know uh, fix your hands because what it can do is it can send your stick and then you can uh, Ritual Sanctuary uh, the stick back search a chair uh, you can send wings you know if you have bear at hand like um, you know it's it's just a good card like a uh, Brilliant Fusion really just uh, fixes your deck and and then um, Maxi, uh, I was playing Maxi. I, I fixed this deck a little bit to go uh, better, you know, with Link Summoning. So Maxi, you play for now, and it is a two, like I said, to go with your fours uh, to go into Herald if you have to. Ideally, you want to use your Bin Tens, of course, but it, it is a two. But um, also, this is like the most powerful card in Yu-Gi-Oh, as demonstrated at the NAWCQ. So you have to kind of play it. This card will probably get banned. If it does get banned, you can always replace it with, you know, a third Dagra if you wanted to. I, I think two Dagra is fine, but uh, I would replace it with a Manji. Uh, I would replace it with a Manju because a Manju is a light fairy. It can be searched by Benton, 
and it can be pitched by Harold. So if this card does get banned, um, just replace it with a Manju or something, and it, you'll be fine. And to the spells, you play three Dawn of the Herald, uh, so you can actually get out Herald, of course. And uh, th this is what makes this deck so good, okay? So what makes this deck so good is that when you summon Herald using Benton, all right? So you summon Herald using, ben, you know, using the Dawn. So you get out Herald and you send the Benton for cost. What you do is you activate Benton as a Chain Link 2, and the Chain Link 2 will resolve getting you a search for any fairy that, you know, light fairy that you want, and then Chain Link 1 will resolve from the Dawn, banishing itself and getting this right to your hand. So it makes summoning Herald like really, really good, actually. And honestly, that combo right there is really what makes the deck. Ben 10 coming out really makes Herald uh, a viable deck. It's really good. But I'll explain more about that in the combo section of the video. Um, let's get, let's keep on trucking with these spells. So there's the Dawn of the Herald, and then you play uh, Pre-Preparation of Rights. And you play Pre-Prep because it's a plus one, because it searches out your Dawn and your Herald, which is really good. And you play regular Prep of Rights, you know, one of the best uh, ritual cards ever. <laughs> like, it gets a ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand. So uh, you can keep that in mind with Dawn, because you can pitch Dawn off of Brilliant Fusion if you have Prep in hand, or you can pitch Dawn off of, uh, of Ritual uh, Sanctuary, and then just get the Dawn back from uh, Preparation of Rites. So you can play around, you know, your discard outlets uh, with Prep of Rites, which is really good. And then you play uh, three Terraforming to search out the Ritual Sanctuary. Uh, and Ritual Sanctuary gets you a search for any, uh, any uh, Light Fairy Ritual or any Ritual Spell by pitching a spell. And uh, it also lets you shuffle spells back into your deck to summon um, a monster, you know, whose level equals the number of uh, spells you uh, shuffle back. So let's just say you have six spells in Grave and a Herald in Graveyard. You can shuffle, if the Herald was, was summoned properly, you can shuffle back six spells from your Graveyard and summon the Herald, which is really good. And, uh, you know, like I explained earlier, you can also get back, back Stick to uh, search a chair, and that's also really good. And then um, I play three Toy Vendor, and why I play three Vendor is because um, when you pitch a spell off a of Sanctuary, the best target it, of course is a vendor unless of course you have the prep of rights in your hand like I was explaining earlier with Don but you will pitch a vendor and then you get to search for a bear and then <laughs> and then you pitch bear set a vendor and then brilliant fusion and then send wings and they just go off you can just go off and go off and go off uh, speaking of brilliant fusion uh, three brilliant fusion it is like <laughs> it's a, and it's probably the best card in the deck it might be I'm not sure like all these cards are just like I mean you have to play all these the, all these cards are really good a uh, foolish burial in case you don't get the brilliant fusion to pitch the uh, you know the uh, uh, the wings, you know, uh, <laughs> to your graveyard. Between Foolish Burial, Toy Vendor, and Brilliant Fusion, you get your wings in the grave, like you really do. Or, or just pitching it off of the Herald itself. And then uh, Foolish Burial of Goods, um, that, uh, your Toy Vendor is your target, which is good. And then Upstart Goblin. These are just kind of consistency cards. I would say out of these, uh, Foolish Burial sucks the most, but it's kind of necessary. When you see it in the right situation, you're happy. And uh, this was a uh, Instant Fusion. This was an Instant Fusion, but uh, the reason why it was an Instant Fusion before Link Format um, is because uh, you could go into, um, you know, Durindal off of uh, the Seraphonite off of Brilliant Fusion. But since, you know, Link's in the only one extra deck space, you know, unless, of course, you have a Link monster, uh, yeah, you just need to <laughs> you need to have this be a Foolish Burial instead of an Instant Fusion. So, yeah, that is uh, all the spells. So let's go ahead and get into this extra deck. And before I get started with this extra deck, keep in mind that my Utopia and my Lightning Sam was borrowing at Nats, so they did get stolen. So I do not have a replacement Utopia. Utopia and Lightning. Just uh, keep in mind for, to make 15 cards, there needs to be a, a Utopia and a Utopia of the Lightning in here. But anyway, so you have to play your Maximilian Pegasus, of course, and then uh, Evil Swarm Ouroboros robs a card from your opponent, and then when you make, uh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention earlier. So if you Xyz, when you Xyz with Stick and Chair, like your two chairs, when you Xyz summon for your Ouroboros, um, you know what I mean? If you don't have Brilliant Fusion, of course, because, you know, they, you know how that works. Only one extra deck space, of course. Keep in mind, this is playing without Link Monsters. Um, I haven't, like, you know, experimented with Link Monsters yet. Just keep in mind that this is without Link Monsters. I'm sure that people will figure out more ways to break this deck. But as of right now, I'm playing without Link Monsters. I'm d demonstrating the deck without Link Monsters. So, um, when you actually summon for Ouroboros, if you don't have the Seraphonite, of course, once again, uh, you can pop one of your cards off of the stick and then draw a card, which is really, really good. Or one of your opponent's cards off of stick and draw a card. And then, of course, Ouroboros, uh, you detach, you know this, 
and then rob a card from your opponent, and then you ritual sanctuary this back by shuffling back four spells, and then you get to search for another negate for your herald. Fantastic, it's fantastic. So yeah, Ouroboros is really good. It gets your opponent uh, to start with, if you go first, it makes your opponent start with um, five cards, just like you did, which is really good. And then uh, Deltaros, Deltaros is really good going second. And then uh, Luminite, uh, once the, all these three level fours to go into off of Stick and Chair. And you play a Luminite because this card unbreaks you. It, it really, really does, it's really good. And then Utopia Prime, this card's just fun. And then of course, my last rank four, besides, you know, regular old uh, Utopia, and Utopia, you know, then like, you know, the Lightning, like I was explaining earlier, uh, you have have Abyss Dweller because uh, Abyss Dweller is just so good, it's so good. And then uh, Utopia Beyond, which you know can OTK because you overlay your two heralds for it. Uh, Beatrice, uh, Beatrice is a play extender um, because what you can do is you can overlay two heralds um, and go into Beatrice. And if you have six spells in your graveyard, you can uh, end your board with a Beatrice and a herald. Um, and how you do that is uh, um, so let's just say you overlay two heralds for this and you have six spells engraved and you have a you have a toy vendor or like a toy vendor up or like a bear in hand you can uh, send the wings off of the Beatrice and then do like the wings play and go super plus and then uh, you can shovel back your spells and then get out herald and that's what I'm saying shovel back six spells and <laughs> get out your herald you guys know what I'm talking about you guys know what I'm talking about but anyways anyways so then for your fusion that's the only fusion you play I was playing more fusion sorry <laughs> I was playing more fusion but since I took instant fusion out they are no longer in here so what I do play or your two Herald of Arc Lights. Really, really good. Um, you uh, send this off of Dagra and it's, you get a search for it. It's very similar to what Necroz did back in the day, sending this off of the Summon for Unicorn, you know, off a of Kaleidoscope and getting a search that way. It's very, very similar. All you do is you summon your Gale Dagra, pay 3,000 light points, uh, send this, get a search, pay 3,000 light points again because this is not once per turn. Send the, the second one, get another search. It's, it's a plus two and uh, yeah, it's just, it's really, really good. And then from here, um, you know, you have the Utopia and the Lightning, which makes 12 in the extra deck. You know, it would make 12 in the extra deck. And you still have room for three uh, Link Monsters if you wanted to. Uh, you can make these whatever cards you want, but you can make these Link Monsters. You can make these, you know, generic rank fours or like, you know, three more level four monsters or whatever, you know, to go into to give you more options off of Stick and Chair. But I would say that these three are the best options to go into off of Stick and Chair. You can add more rank sixes in here. You can do whatever you want. I'm just demonstrating uh, the core of the deck for you guys. And uh, yeah, because once again, we don't know what we're going to be playing once Links are actually out. But what I will demonstrate for you guys is how how to play the deck and how to play around you know only having one extra deck zone so let's go ahead and shuffle up split the deck in half and then draw our five cards assuming that we go first because we want to go first and we opened up pretty dang good so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and activate our pre prep getting a search for our uh, Herald and then we're gonna get a search for our Dawn so we're already off to a really strong start a really really strong start so what we're gonna do next okay uh, is we're gonna go ahead and activate our Ritual Sanctuary and then uh, let's go ahead and get our other uh, Benton out of the deck just because uh, like I said, it was, like I was explaining earlier Benton doesn't really do anything for you and uh, I like to leave a Heralds and Dawns in the deck because um, you know pre prep is a card and if you draw into another pre prep you want it to be live so that's why I like to uh, search Benton in this situation but to each their own plus you have Gale Dogra anyways <laughs> I mean this hand's about to get legit uh, but I'm not summoning a uh, Dogra yet because I want to see uh, what we're gonna uh, do um, off of the vendor so what we're gonna do off of vendor right now is we're gonna add, search bear activate bear and then we're gonna set the vendor so, because a uh, vendor triggers when it's sent to the graveyard and we pitched it off the ritual sanctuary and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon our uh, herald so there's our herald and then what we're gonna do is do um, Ben 10 chain link 2 and then Don chain link 1 so chain link 2 will resolve getting a search for our wings and then Ben 10 then Don will resolve sorry getting the Ben 10 right back to your hand which is really really good and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and activate our toy vendor shuffle up real quick and then we're gonna cut this in half activate vendor pitch off pitch off a of vendor know that and then what we're gonna do is um, banish our wings activating wings um, and that's gonna let us draw a card pop this draw again and then search our bear see what I mean about pre-prep guys <laughs> you, you rip it a lot because you play three of it so you want to leave like your heralds and stuff in the deck like I was explaining and then yeah that vendor is gonna trigger give, giving us a bear which is another negate for us which is really 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 good and so let's see what we have now so we have three spells engraved we milled a stick so that's pretty good let's get uh, we can't really get more spells engraved though um, actually you know what we, we could but it's not gonna really help us how we would get more spells engraved is we summon Dagra um, you know, we, we have a lot of options here. We have a lot of options here. So let's go ahead. Uh, Ritual Sanctuary is only once per turn. Uh, let's go ahead and activate Dagra. And let's send um, our uh, Arc Lights off of that. 
and get more negates. <laughs> like, let's go ahead, actually, let's go double herald. So we're gonna, let's just assume they have kaijus. Let's go double herald. So we're gonna go ahead and activate our other dawn. So bam. Uh, let's just do this how we did it last time. This will come to our hand. This will come out. You know what I mean? And then we'll search for another light. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and search the uh, chair. We got, yeah, let's go ahead and search chair because you don't you want your sticks in the decks like so you hope that you draw them. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how the deck plays. So we end we ended our turn with one, two, three, four negates. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we ended our turn with four negates, a uh, pre-prep, and a maxi in hand. That's pretty good. And actually, if you guys were playing Manju over this, this would be another, another negate. And we ended with two heralds. That, that's really, really strong. So let's go ahead and do another hand. Hopefully, I can uh, get the Brilliant Fusion this time and show you guys how to play with the Brilliant Fusion. Come on, Brilliant Fusion. Come on, Brilliant Fusion. No! All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you a hand that's just like the absolute nuts, right? <laughs> like something that is just insanely crazy so yeah that's really good that's really really good okay <laughs> this is this is the nuts okay so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go ahead and um, activate our pre prep we're gonna go ahead and search our dawn of herald and our herald and then uh, we can go ahead and activate bear that's gonna set vendor once again so there's our vendor activate brilliant fusion so brilliant fusion and we're gonna send our a garnet and a wings so wings and where's the garnet so garnet and that's gonna get out the seraphonite of course so there's our one extra deck space oh well oh well I'm gonna show you guys how to play around it um i would i would go ahead and see what we get and see if we have to even pay our 3000 off of gale dagra so let's go ahead and activate our let's shuffle again just to sh show you guys what's up so shuffle again and um let's go ahead and activate our wings or this play so we're gonna go ahead and draw pop draw and then oh there's our benton see what i mean so right there we didn't have to pay 3000 off of dagra and then we search our bear so that's why i did that uh, usually you would want deck thin first before you draw, but this deck you kind of want to see what you draw before you have to you know pay three thousand and all that stuff. And so you can actually uh, use Gale Dogger to get more negates later. So let's go ahead and activate Dawn, Ben Ten once again, Channel Two, Channel One. Um, so that's going to get out Harold, uh, Channel Two. We're going to get a chair off of the Ben Ten, and then what we're going to do is yeah, then Dawn. That's what I was missing. So now let's go ahead and normal summon. <laughs> Chair. Uh, so from here, you can uh, just uh, you, you you can do the chair play and dig into your deck more. Uh, but what I wanted, yeah, we could do that. We could do that just to show it off. So yeah, let's go ahead and chain draw. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, instead of summoning this, um, you just keep it in your hand because uh, we already have our extra deck slot used. So let's put that up here. So we already have our extra deck slot used. So uh, why why uh, you know waste our waste a negate out of our hand? We can summon this and have an extra body on field, but why do that? So we have extra negates for Harold. So from here we have a lot of negates in our hand. We have four negates in our hand right now, and that's not even uh, that's not even counting. We get a second normal summon off of this. I can normal summon this and pay six thousand. Send these two, and then search um, two more negates. So bam and bam so we have a lot of negates in hand it's ridiculous so right here we end our turn with one two three four five six negates six negates you guys and a foolish burial for whatever but uh foolish burial in this case was kind of dead because we had the brilliant fusion but yeah that's pretty much how the deck plays you guys and it's really really broken um you know when you when you get the right hands and even if you don't get the right hands you always get, at least get herald out and i want to say you always end with at least at least two to three negates at the very least um it's very rare that you brick with this deck it's very very rare which is great it makes the deck really fun to play plus as i demonstrated earlier with the extra deck there is plenty of room for link monsters so you can make this deck even better by playing link monsters and as i've demonstrated with the combos you have plenty of special summons to do so you can do whatever you want with this deck and have a herald on board so this deck might even get better when links come out we will have to see what all link monsters become available to us i just wanted to show off this deck to give players that don't want to play link monsters another viable deck to play but obviously it will be better and more powerful as we get really good and powerful links Link monsters. All right, guys, so that is the deck profile. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you play it and improve on it even more. If you guys figure out, you know, crazy, you know, Link Monster stuff, you know, like I said, that's what these spaces are for. If you guys figure out crazy Link Monster stuff with this deck, let me know, and I'll probably, you know, do an update on this deck later on when I figure out, you know, some, some new tricks of my own and when I get my hands on some Link Monsters. But yeah, guys, as always, be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe!
Nee, nee, nee.